guys welcome back to my channel my name is Michelle if you're new to this channel welcome 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 so in today's video I'm gonna be doing a protective hairstyle African threading to be precise <laughs> in my country we call this my bangs you guys others call it African threading I don't know what you guys call it so guys if you want to see more of this hairstyle stay tuned and enjoy this video <laughs> So guys, this is what my hair is currently looking like right now. Um, I've had this twist for about four or five days after washing my hair. If you haven't washed my wash day routine, please go check it out. It's in the description box. So I'm going to start off by removing these twists and get ready for moisturizing my hair. I'm going to be using a combination of extra virgin olive oil and water to moisturize the hair. This is me shaking it well so that it uh, mixes all together and spraying it all over my hair. So because I'm not washing it today, I'm making sure that I detangle and moisturize it very well so that it doesn't break during the process. My hair is currently stiff and dry at the moment, but I'm going to try and make sure that uh, it gets all the moisture that it needs since I'm not washing it. So here I decided to do a quick length check, which was not bad. Ooh. <laughs> My hair seems to be taking this pretty well. As you can see, it's actually getting moisturized bit by bit. It kind of took longer than I expected because as you can see I'm not sectioning my hair to detangle again but this time using a comb. My hair feels a little bit more manageable now and let's keep going. I went ahead to use a wide tooth comb making sure that I'm detangling from the tips to the roots. So after detangling, I sectioned my hair at the front and I am getting ready to start plating it. Using Eco Styling Gel, I am going to put it in my edges just to make sure that my lines are tight and secure and also neat. Now that I'm done sectioning my hair, this is the wool that I'm going to be using. Grabbing this section, I am taking the wool and twisting it around my hair very tight but not too tight. You want to make sure that the thread is very secure so that it doesn't unravel. When you reach to the end, you now want to tie a knot to secure the ends, also to make sure that uh, it doesn't unravel. Now I'm getting ready to start plating the second and final line. 
this is super super easy you guys all you have to do is to grab a section of your hair twist the wool around it and you are done what you do when the wool is finished is to just add another one like that simple <laughs> Twist it down around your hair and then tie a knot. Voila! There we go. So because I cannot see at the back, I am just trying so hard to uh, first section all the parts that I'm going to use. So for a neat and straight line, this is what I am doing to make sure that uh, the hair is all secure, making sure that I'm holding it very tight so that it doesn't unravel. At this point, this is it, guys. This is it. I am done. I am done. I am done. So here I am cutting out the remaining thread and securing the last piece to make it look nice and cute. After this, I'm going to go ahead and use the extra virgin olive oil to moisturize my scalp. Edges! For the edges, I'm going to be using a toothbrush and the Eco Styling Gel. So I'm just going to cover up my edges with a scarf and I will be back to show you guys the results. So yeah, my edges were not yet dry. I guess I was too quick. <laughs> I was so excited you guys, I couldn't wait to see the results. So yep guys, this is the final look. I am so excited, I am happy, I feel great, what an accomplishment. <laughs> this is a super super easy hairstyle you guys, you just do it in a very short space of time, it's very fast. You can do it going to work, going to school, going anywhere. It's quick and easy, very affordable. All you need is your thread and you are done. Okay, I was starting to feel myself here. I was very excited, you guys. Finally, I am done. I can go out. I can have some fun. This can also be a quick and easy way to stretch your hair if you don't like using heat. So guys, there you have it, African Threading slash Mabanzi slash Benny and Betty. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notification. Until next time, guys, bye. See you in the next video. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Do what? Video I'm going to be doing uh, African threading as a protective hairstyle. Most you, most of you, hey, no. <laughs>
continue. I don't know what you guys call it. So guys, if you're not you start is not. <laughs> so okay, guys. <laughs> Doing a protective style called Oh my day. That's making that noise. Nice. So guys, today I'm gonna to be doing that. And uh if you wanna see more of this video, then stay tuned. We do <laughs> keep quiet. But if you wanna know more about this hairstyle, continue to watch this video. <laughs>